Let's start off with a five minute warm up. So begin with marching on the spot and for most of the warm up exercises, 30 seconds for each exercise. Gently lift the belly towards the spine, supporting the lower back and helping to lift the knees up towards the chest. After marching in place, we'll go on to jogging on the spot. Landing on the balls of the feet, keeping the knees soft. Keep gently lifting or engaging the abdominals. So drawing the lower abdominals as well as the upper abdominals back towards the spine. After jogging on the spot, coming into a squat position, feet hip width apart or slightly wider, lowering down to the ground and reaching up towards the sky, coming up onto your toes. Inhale to lower down and exhale to lift up. Try to keep your hips centered and facing forwards. Last one. Okay, and then coming into step out seal jacks. Or if you're feeling comfortable with jumping, you can jump the feet in and out together. If you're jumping, make sure that the knees are soft and you're landing on the soles of the feet or the balls of the feet. And then alternating heel touches, opposite hand to ankle, 20 seconds to the front and then 20 seconds to the back, still touching alternating foot, reach the opposite arm up. Then coming into a squat position again, or half squat this time, rotating upper body side to side. Spinal rotation through the waist. 20 seconds here, and then for the next one you'll remain in a half squat, but we'll add in side bends. Bringing elbow down towards the thigh. Again, try to keep your hips and your shoulders facing forwards. Try to keep your legs immobile. And then coming back up to center. Next, twist and punch. Two punches to each side. Rotate through the foot, the hip, as well as the spine reaching your elbow forwards and backwards. It's warming up the shoulders nicely. Next one is arm circles, just 10 seconds forwards and then 10 seconds backwards. You can move your feet around if you like. Aim for both arms making an equal movement. Okay, then we have walk out to plank. So reaching down to each ankle, then walking the hands forwards into a plank position, lowering down towards the ground, knees down if you need to, and then pushing back up into a plank, walking the hands back, and standing up. Four or five repetitions. Exhale to lower down, inhale to walk forwards, exhale Lower down to the ground, inhale, push up, exhale, walk the hands in, and inhale, stand up. Okay, just coming up to neutral and getting ready for first round, starting off with 30 second sprint. 30 seconds for each exercise, and then 
30 seconds rest. Yeah, if sprinting is too much, then jog on the spot instead. Do your best and work as hard as you're able to. Keep breathing. Almost there. Keep it up last few seconds and rest. Next exercise is banded rows. So we'll just warm up the shoulders a little bit more. Hands out in front of you and then drawing the shoulder blades towards each other and then pressing them out away from each other. And this movement is key for rows. We want the movement to be initiated between the shoulder blades. Come down onto the floor, place the band around the balls of the feet. Sitting up tall and initiate the movement with the shoulders. Shoulders draw back and then the elbows pull back. Try to keep a straight line from the elbows to the band at the feet. Exhale to pull the elbows back and inhale, elbows forwards. Last few repetitions here. And rest. Come up to standing. Next exercise is X jacks. So starting in a squat position, you're going to come up to standing, bring feet together, coming up onto your tippy toes and crossing the arms. And then back down to a squat. You can step out to the side and back into center to reduce the intensity or if you want to avoid jumping. If you're comfortable with jumping, then go ahead and jump the feet together and apart. If you're jumping, make sure that you're landing with the knees soft, so a slight bend through the knees, protecting your joints. Inhale to lower down towards the ground and exhale to come up towards the ceiling. Last one, and stop, rest. 30 seconds rest and then preparing for split squats. So your feet will be hip width apart, toes pointing forwards. The back foot heel is lifted up and then bending both knees, try to keep the front knee over the ankle and the back knee stops just above the ground. Inhale to lower down and exhale to stand up. You can use a wall or a chair for support if you need it. Try not to let the hips move backwards and forwards. Try to let them just go straight up and down. This is more challenging, but more effective. Think about lifting the kneecaps up towards the hips and engaging the back leg glute as you come up to standing. 30 seconds on each side. We're going to switch over straight away, so get ready to change. And let's go the other side. Focus on one point that doesn't move around to help with your balance. Keep your abdominals engaged. Pelvic floor lifting. Navel drawing back towards the spine. Last couple of repetitions here. And stop. Rest. 30 seconds break and then coming into a push-up position. So find your appropriate level of resistance. For a push-up, your main goal is to keep your body in a strong, active plank. Keeping your ears, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles in one straight line. No banana shapes, no wiggly worms. You can use a floor, a table, a chair or the wall. Inhale to lower down and exhale to push up. Focus on engaging the whole body. It's not just a chest workout, it's a whole body workout. The last couple of repetitions. Almost there. 
and stop, rest. 30 seconds rest and then coming up onto your feet, preparing for squats. For squats, your feet are hip width apart, either the toes facing forwards or facing out to the sides. You can have your feet wider than hip width apart as well. Weight in the heels, knees going in the same direction as the second and third toes and the hips moving backwards in space. Inhale to lower down and exhale to stand up. You can use a chair to make it easier. To make it more challenging, you can add in a weight. Last few repetitions, keep it up. and stop, rest. 30 seconds break and then getting ready for side plank raises. So a side plank position, you'll be down on the floor lying on your side. You can start with arm down on the floor, elbow slightly in front of the shoulder. Again, active plank, so ears, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles aligned. Easier option, left knee on the floor, right leg straight. More challenging, feet are staggered, right foot in front of the left, and even more challenging, feet stacked on top of each other. Press the whole left arm, forearm, wrist and fingers into the floor. Press the left armpit away from the floor. Keep looking forwards, try not to look at your feet. Switch over to the other side. Right arm down, lifting the hips up away from the floor and lowering back down. Just 25 seconds on each side. Almost done. Last few reps. And stop. Rest. Next exercise is glute bridge. So you can stay on the floor. You're going to lie down on your back. Knees bent. Feet flat. Align your heels with your sitting bones or your hips, ground down through the heels, posterior pelvic tilt, lifting the pubic bone up towards the navel and the lower back will press down towards the floor. As you exhale, lift the hips up and then inhale lower down. Try to roll up and down the spine, one bone at a time. Keep pressing down through the heels. And think about drawing the heels back towards your hips, your knees moving forwards. Keep a strong posterior pelvic tilt throughout the movement, and you should feel the work through the glutes as well as the hamstrings. Last couple of repetitions. And then bringing the hips down and rest. Next exercise is skater jumps, so coming back up onto your feet. For skater jumps, you want to focus on controlling your landing and your balance. So before you jump over to the other side again, make sure that you are in control of your movement. Balance on your left leg, right foot lifted up, right hand forward. Hop over to your right side, landing on your right leg. Find your balance before you hop over to the left leg. Alternate your arms to help keep your balance. Focus on a point in front of you that doesn't move around and keep your abdominals engaged. Try to keep your hips low as you move side to side. Last couple of hops and stop, rest. Preparing for mountain climbers, again you'll come into a plank position as you did for push-ups. As with push-ups, your goal is to maintain a strong active plank. Try not to let your hips or shoulders move as you bring one knee up towards your chest and then straighten the leg back behind you. Alternating sides. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, and begin. Speed is not important here. What's more important is control. Think about driving each foot down into the ground, engaging the leg, the glutes, the abdominals. 
Stabilize through the shoulders by rotating upper arms outwards so the soft part of the elbow faces forwards whilst you press the armpits away from the floor. Fingers are spread wide, pressing down through palms of the hands. Almost finished here. And stop. Rest. Going to stay down on the floor. Next exercise is crab toe touches. So you'll be on your hands and your feet, facing upwards. Knees bent and knees directly over your ankles. Fingers can be facing forwards, backwards or out to the side. Press the floor away from you. Armpits press away from the floor and hips press away from the floor. Start lifting up one foot and then the other. You have option to tap your hand, your opposite hand to the opposite foot. So left hand to right foot, right hand to left foot. And keep trying to lift your hips up as high as you can. Grounding down through the heels, activating the glutes. Fingers spread wide. Last couple of movements. And rest. Next exercise is also on the floor, but this time lying face down. Superman or prone back extensions. For supermans, your goal is to keep your whole body as long as possible. Press down through the pubic bone. So, strong posterior pelvic tilt. Protecting the lower back. Alright, let's go. Inhale to lift up, arms, legs, head, chest. Exhale to lower down. Try keep your ears between your arms. Imagine your ears are glued to your biceps. And your legs are zipped together, feet touching. It doesn't matter how high you lift up. Lengthen your body as much as you can. Last couple of repetitions. And rest. Coming up to standing, next exercise is side suicides. So basically a lateral squat. So you'll start in a squat position or a half squat position. Side bend over to the one side, come up to standing, shuffle two or three steps over in the opposite direction, come into a half squat and then side bend to the outside. Let's go. Make sure that each squat is performed with good form. So grounding down through the heels, knees in line with the toes, hips back, chest lifted. Good, keep going, almost there. Last few movements. Last one, and stop rest. 30 seconds break and then last exercise of the first circuit. Coming up, Russian twists. You'll come down into a sitting position with your feet flat, knees bent. Make sure that your sitting bones are pressing down into the ground and not tucking under. There should be no rounding of the lower back, middle back. Lean back, lift the chest, shoulders back arms in front, and then twist from side to side. Try to stabilize through your legs as much as you can. So movement only through the upper body. To make it more challenging, lift the feet up off the floor. If this rotation is too difficult for you at the moment, then just keep leaning back, chest up, shoulders back, and arms in front of you. No twist. Stop and rest. Stop and rest. You have one minute break, drink some water, move around, release any tension that may have built up, catch your breath. You'll feel your heart rate begin to come down just a little bit.
Okay, starting to get ready for the next round. Starting back with the sprints again. We'll start in three, two, one, and begin. Running on the spot as fast as you can. Keep going more than halfway through. Last few seconds, keep it up and stop, rest. Okay, coming down onto the floor again for rows. Remember to squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other, pulling the shoulders back before you bend the elbows. Placing the band around the balls of the feet. Engaging abdominals, lifting the chest, leaning back, and then exhale, pull the shoulders back, elbows back. Inhale, elbows forward, shoulders forward. Try not to let the upper body move back and forth. If it's too easy, you can... Reach your hands a little bit further forward on the band to increase the resistance. Last one and stop. Release. Come up onto your feet. Next round, X jacks. Okay, start getting ready. We'll start with feet together, up on the toes, arms raised up overhead, and forearms crossed. Then inhale, jump down into a squat. Exhale, jump up, feet together. Keep breathing. Remember that if jumping is too intense, then step in and out of your squat. Slow the movement down. Last one, and stop, rest, 30 second rest. Coming up we have split squats, 30 seconds on each leg. For the split squats, make sure that your front knee is moving in the same direction as your second and third toes. Ensure that your knee doesn't collapse inwards to the midline of your body. If it does, then think about pressing your knee out to the outside edge. Okay, find your balance and let's go. Inhale to lower down, exhale to lift up. Focus on one point that doesn't move around to help keep the balance. Remember that you can use a wall or a chair to help keep your balance. Almost done on the side, start getting ready to switch over and switch. Change legs. Inhale down, exhale up. You may find that one side is more stable than the other. Again, make sure that your hips are moving straight up and down rather than forwards and backwards whilst you move up and down. Last couple of movements here. And stop, rest. 30 seconds break. And then getting ready for push-ups. Remember to find your appropriate level of resistance using the wall, a table, or a chair, or the floor. If floor push-ups are too easy for you, then go ahead and raise the feet up off the floor using bricks, blocks, a chair, anything that will help to lift your feet up. Okay, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and begin. Inhale, move down towards the floor, and exhale, push up. Maintain strong active plank throughout the movement. 
legs, glutes, abdominals, chest and shoulders all working together. Last couple of movements here. And stop. Rest. Come up onto your feet and get ready for squats. Remember for squats you can use a chair to make it a bit easier. And then to work on keeping the chest lifted you can use a block. So holding a block in line with your shoulders. Coming into your squat position. Inhale to lower down and exhale to lift up. As you come up, engage your glutes. Lift the pubic bone up towards the navel. Lift the kneecaps towards the hips. Try and ensure that there is an equal amount of work being done by each leg. Last couple of movements. And stop. Rest. 30 second rest and then come down onto the floor for side plank raises. Okay, come down onto the floor if you're not already there. Setting up, elbow just in front of the shoulder. Easiest option, bottom leg knee is bent. 25 seconds on each side, let's go. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower down. More challenging, right uh, top leg is staggered in front of the bottom leg. And most challenging, feet are stacked on top of each other. Find your appropriate level and start getting ready to switch over and switch. You can work with your breath, exhaling, lifting up and inhaling, lowering down. Try and make sure that the hips and the shoulders stay stacked. There'll be a tendency for the hip or shoulder to either roll backwards or forwards. Last one here, and stop, rest. Stay down on the floor. If you have a block, you can use a block between your thighs for bridge, glute bridge. Lying down on your back, heels in line with your hips, head and shoulders down on the floor. Driving down through the heels, lifting the hips up and squeezing the block between the thighs, activating the adductors, the muscles on the inner thighs. Try roll up and down the spine. So a little bit of work through the abdominals and you should feel the work in the lower portion of the glutes. Last couple of movements here. And stop. Rest. Come up onto your feet. Next exercise is skater jumps. Remember with skater jumps to find your balance. Be in control of the movement. Okay, let's get ready. Balancing on one leg. So left leg balanced, right foot lifts up, right hand forward. Hop over to the side on your right, landing on the right leg and left foot lifted up. Keep alternating the arms as you hop side to side. Try stay low to the ground. Make sure that when you land, you do not have a straight knee. Keep your knee bent to protect your joints. Last couple of hops here. And stop, rest. 30 seconds rest and then preparing for mountain climbers, coming down onto the floor on your hands and your feet, coming into a strong plank position. Remember you can elevate your hands to make it easier, bringing the hands onto a chair, a table or even the wall. Find your appropriate level of resistance and get ready. 
Engage the legs, the glutes, the abdominals, press the floor away from the wall and rotate upper arms outwards. And let's go. Bringing one knee in towards the chest, keeping the rest of the body as still and stable as possible. Try not to let there be any movement through the upper body, through the hips. Keep breathing, last few movements. And stop, rest. Next exercise is crab toe touches. So still down on the floor on your hands and your feet. Facing upwards this time. Knees are bent. Heels underneath the knees. Make sure that you press the armpits away from the floor. Strong, stable foundation. Lift the hips up and get ready. Lifting up either one foot at a time or one foot and opposite hand, bringing the hand and the foot together before placing both down on the floor again. Again, try to keep your hips raised as high as you can and stabilize your body as much as you're able to. Last few movements, keep going. We're almost at the end. Good, stop and rest. Next exercise is Superman, so we'll still be down on the floor, this time facing downwards. So lying face down, press the pubic bone down into the ground, zip the legs together. Reach the arms overhead. Remember to keep your ears in line with your arms. As you inhale, lift up arms, legs, head, chest, and exhale, lower down. Remember to lengthen the body as much as you're able to. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Last few movements. Last one. And stop. Rest. Okay, last exercise. Or second last exercise, rather. Side suicides. Come up onto your feet. Remember, side suicides are starting in a squat position with a side bend. And then taking two to three shuffling steps to the side and repeating. Okay, let's get ready. And go. Squat, side bend, shuffle over. Squat, side bend, shuffle over. Keep going. Come into a good strong squat position every time you come to stillness. Try not to let the legs move as you bend over to the side. You're not reaching down to touch the floor. You want to keep your shoulders and your hips facing forwards. Almost done. Last one. And stop. Rest. 30 seconds rest and then coming down onto the floor for Russian twists. Again, find your appropriate level of resistance. No twisting if the twisting is too difficult or if there is pain in the lower back. Feet down, but twisting is slightly more challenging. And feet up, twisting side to side will be most challenging. Wherever you are, keep lifting the chest up, shoulders back. Ears in line with the shoulders, so there's no strain in the back of the neck. Abdominals engaged. Lift the belly back towards the spine. Try not to let the legs move. Keep breathing. Last few rotations, and then you will be finished this workout. And that's it. Well done. Make sure that you do some stretches and cool down.